Hi, this is Anne from The Useless Crafter. Thanks for joining. Today we are going to be um, learning how to do this Pringles party favor can. So this has a dome and you can put the one that I have right now. It has the little foam balls that go in it. So it's so cute. The foam balls um, I got through a slime kit so or the foam beads. Um, but you can find every all the materials on my Amazon shop. So you can see the Amazon shop information is right there. It's amazon.com slash shop slash the useless crafter. Um, but the link will be in the information section. So let me move this out of the way and we will get started. So I am using print and cut. I mean, there's so many different things that you can do on this Pringles can. But today I'm actually showing you how to do a picture and then your own whatever message you want to put on there. And um, then I'll show you how to decorate the top part in the dome. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, all right, so let's get started here. Let me just erase this. All right, so the basics. I do have the video on the basics, but what you need is you need a rectangular strip. That is for this top one. And the reason why is it's longer because it sticks out a little bit. It's wrapping around the dome. And you want it half an inch because you want to cover... Um, you know where all your glue and your seams are okay this bottom line 9.385 by 0.3 inches you can I tried different sizes I personally like the 0.3 because it covers that um, the silver like rim I think that looks kind of ugly so it covers that but it doesn't go so much into this section right here so that you can design and make it really fun um, this middle section, the print and cut, that's going to be 9.25 by 3.2. That's going to give you, it's going to be easy because it's going to be right underneath the two rims. So it's easy to put down. 9.25 is as much as we can do because that's the maximum for print and cut. So you're going to see in the back, there's a little bit of an opening. To me, it is minimal and it does not bother me at all. So, I mean, and 9.25 is all you can do. Um, okay, and then the circle is what goes on top of the lid. That's gonna be 3.18 because what's gonna happen is, here's your 3.18 circle, the 3.18 inches in diameter. Your dome is gonna go on top and it's <clears throat> the dome is actually smaller than the paper. So you're gonna glue the dome to the paper and that way you're gonna have this little thing that you can stuff things in and um, do cute stuff. All right, so let's get started. So I've duplicated everything down here. So these are the sizes. All you do is you bring in a square. So I'm gonna do the first one. So let's bring in a square. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, we're going to unlock it. Then you're gonna to go to the width up here and you're gonna put in one of these dimensions to make that. So I'm gonna put in 9.385 tab, 0.3 tab, and that's gonna adjust the size for you. And then you can change it to whatever color that you want to, okay? So that's how you're gonna do all of these um, three rectangle, re rectangles. <laughs> the circle is easy, you just bring in a circle. Once you bring in the circle, you can type in the, the width and the height is the same, so it's the diameter. You're just gonna type in 3.18. I've seen other YouTubers do a smaller size, so it fits inside the dome, but that means that your, your dome is being glued onto, your, onto the lid, and the lid doesn't, doesn't do very well with the hot glue gun. So I, you know, like I said, I like the paper to be a little bit wider. Everything's covered. You can't see it because you have, the, the ribbon, the banners. So they cover all your like mistakes. So I, I really, I really like the 3.18. All right, so let's go to upload. So what I did is I did it on my phone. I prefer bringing in images like screenshots through my phone. I have an iPhone. I don't know what it is. It just feels easier. So hopefully you guys already have that. <clears throat> Excuse me. So what I brought in was the nutrition facts for Pringles <laughs> and then the daughter, the, the daughter, the picture of my daughter. <clears throat> so I'm going to, excuse me, I'm going to take those two and insert the images. Let me get a sip. All right. So here we have it. Um, let's, okay. So because we already have the dimensions, I'm going to just grab this stuff 
and I'm gonna delete it, okay? I'm gonna delete the words inside the dome. You have a height limitation. I think the height is a bigger limitation than the diameter. So obviously our circle was 3.18. So you're gonna wanna go less than three inches, right? Because <clears throat> it's gonna be inside the paper, inside the dome. Um, but really you don't wanna go more than one and a half inches high. Otherwise the dome is gonna um, push down on your, whatever you end up doing in there. All right, so I'm gonna get rid of that. Okay, so these are our pieces, right? You're gonna make them whatever color you want to. In this case, I'm gonna make it match my stuff so that it's easy for us to distinguish, right? So this is white glitter. These two are a light blue. All right, so now let's deal with this container label. So I'm, this is as much as I could clean up. So what I wanna do is I'm gonna bring in a square and basically slice out my label, okay? So I'm gonna put it right here, that's my label. I'm gonna unlock it and then go to until I see the label, right? I'm gonna grab these two items and I'm gonna slice. So I basically, by slicing, I'm cutting this little rectangle out of my image. So see, I got rid of the junk, right? And I'm left with a pretty good label. I can make it bigger so you can see what's left. I mean, I'm, you know, I would want to cut this down in size so you could take the same rectangle and make it big and cut, oops, I need to unlock it and make it just slightly bigger than our image. And so now I'm gonna grab these two again and slice. And so this time you're gonna see I have a much tighter cut of my label. So I'm gonna get rid of this. Here's my, so you can get rid of this. Okay, so you can see one ounce, servings per container, 28. <laughs> um, I got that just from Google Images. So you can change, I've seen people doctor that and, and make it more like party related. So, uh, you know, instead of total fat, it was total laughs and total giggles and um, I don't know, like that kind of stuff. But if you wanna change this, you could put to like Pringles so people know it's Pringles on the inside. All right, let's talk about this picture though. So here's my daughter, right? I know this thing is, the height is 3.2. So what I did was I went and got a star. Let me see, star circle. <clears throat> and let's hope I can find the same one. It's on a different project, so I, I should have gotten the image number before, but um, <clears throat> Let's see if we can scroll down and find something that we would want to use. But basically the one that I did was it was just a ring of, of um, stars. And so it was perfect because her theme is American Girls dolls. So all they have are stars. <laughs> um, all right. If I don't get anything, I'm just going to, oh, this is actually pretty cute here. So I'm going to click on the, oops, not this one. I'm gonna click on this one and insert image. So what's nice is I can kind of see where I want it, right? So I'm gonna maybe make it smaller, have her fit in there. Okay, so this, what's nice is it gives me the dimensions, right? So I'm gonna take this circle, duplicate it, and I'm going to make it just right around. Actually, I can make it a little bit bigger there. I'm gonna do that, okay? So I'm gonna take this circle, hit the shift key, my photo, and slice. So what I'll have is a nice little circle of just my daughter in a second. Okay, there. So I'm gonna get rid of this, the slice results of the picture, okay? So it cut out, oops. Let me undo that for a second. So here's my daughter. Here 
here's the circle the circle of stars we can bring that forward arrange send to the front and you can change the colors so let's say you wanted it to be red okay so if you like this we can grab these two items and we can flatten it so it becomes a picture image right so and you see how the stars change the way they look so this is how it's going to print out and let's say we wanted to do something like this and then you want the words right so um you know i also did a star banner thing so let me see if i can find that And you can do whatever, you know, whatever you find. Let's say, um, I'm gonna try to find something really fast. You know, I was I was so excited to find all the all the supplies for this project because it's just so stinking cute. I mean, I feel like I want to do an ice cream theme. I wish someone would order an ice cream theme for me. I've never done one, so I would be creating it from the start, but that feels like it would be perfect for these little bottles. And see, on this one, it's Hello Kitty, so I did her bow, and then I did the cupcakes because it's cupcakes on here, and the cupcakes and the balloons are layered, so it kind of pops out, and it's just so cute and then you can hear the it, it's really adorable <laughs> one of my favorite projects i don't know how practical it is but you know none of the stuff we make is useful hence the useless crafter <laughs> all right let me see if i can find uh where is it i should have gotten the image numbers i apologize um let's just say it's this one i know it's not the same but we'll insert that and I'll show you what we did. Now remember, this could be a little bit over because it's gonna wrap around. So we're not gonna see this when we wrap it around, right? So kind of think of what you want right front and center. So I have this and then we could put this in there. Let's duplicate that, put one on this side. We can duplicate it some more, have it kind of go a little bit further, but we can do it like this because <sighs> I don't want it to go all the way to the edge. And then we could do the same thing over here. Maybe do it like this. Okay. Then whenever you like it, something with print and cut i would just grab it and flatten so it becomes part of the image and then now we're going to add the words so just keep in mind though because this is going to come down a little bit let me bring that to the front i mean you have control over where you put this so this can go up higher but just know you can't go all the way to the edge with your writing because it's going to be covered a little bit up here and then also down here um, arrange them to the front so you can kind of see it. It's going to border it like this. So just make sure that you keep your wording kind of closer to your picture. Okay, so now with the text. So what I did with the text was I said, thank you. So wrapping up and then for coming down here. So I'm going to separate it. Thank you. And of course, make it smaller. So make it kind of appropriate to the size of everything else, right? And then go to curve and you can curve it like so. Oops. Right, and then text for coming and then we're going to go to curve and curve the other way curve up okay so it could be something like this now then what I did is I wanted you know to make it more fun so I ungrouped these two um, oops one at a time 
So you click on this and you ungroup it so you can change the colors of each of the letters. And then same thing with this. So this one, I wanna curve it a little bit more. That looks better to me. Okay, now I'm gonna ungroup. So the way I did it, I just started grabbing letters. So um, like every fourth letter. I'm hitting the shift key. One, two, three, shift, grab this one. One, two, three, shift, grab this one. And I made it dark purple. Then I went to the next one. So H, every fourth letter, or every, yeah. So three, then grab the Y, three, hit the shift key, grab the O, or after every purple, right? You can see the purple. It's a little bit hard to see. Maybe make that one dark blue. And then um, we have just a few more letters, so let's just finish it out. So here's the A, one, two, three, O, one, two, three, R, one, two, three, I, and that's it. Let's make that a bright orange. And then we have just one left. So the N, U, C, and N. Let's make that red. Okay, now I'm gonna grab all of this and flatten again. And you see like it really changes the way it looks. The colors look so much better once you flatten it. Um, all right, so let's show you what it looks like. Okay, so let's go and make it. And okay, I was gonna say, I did click on it, right? Um, okay, so you we only made one, right? So here is where I would go and change the, you know, however many you're doing. So let's say you're doing six. Click apply, and you'll see your print and cut. You should be able to fit two on each eight and a half by 11 sticker paper. And the sticker paper, I highly recommend using needle labels. Um, I'll link it. The cut, the just the product is so awesome that the colors are so vibrant. They look like professional stickers. Um, they're glossy, they're vibrant, really, really pretty. Um, and this one as well. All right, and I didn't use it for this one, but all right, so you can fit two per one, but the rest of these you can fit a lot, right? A lot of the circles, a lot of the labels, I would do a lot of these at once. Maybe don't do the print and cut right now, but do all the pieces to prep. Like if I were to do 12, this is how I would do it. I would cancel out of this. I would save it, right? Save everything. But when I go to open it, I'm not gonna save it at this point. I'm gonna delete this and I'm gonna do this first. So this I'm gonna make it, and let's say we have to do 12, right? So let's see what 12 looks like, apply. Sometimes when I look at this, because 12 is assuming that you don't make any mistakes, right? Um, on here, it really looks like all we can fit is 12, but let's say you can do 13, because I think we can fit a little bit more on this. So on this one, this is what I would do. I would change this from 12 by 12 to 12 by 19. Don't worry if you don't have 12 by 19, but it makes it easy because all you need to do is you need to turn this over and put this one up here. And clearly I didn't turn it all that well. All right, and then this one's right at the 12, so we don't want that either, right? We wanna turn this. But I find it easier to change the dimensions of the paper so that everything's on one. So even though I chose 12 by 19, the system's only gonna cut to what, 11.75. So you can use your 12 by 12 mat, you can use your 12 by 12 cardstock and just stick this in. But now you have 13 of these instead. And then once I, so I would go and cut this and then I would go back up. If you're doing a lot of these and you know you're always gonna use white for the mainly used white, I think white is a really good color for the, for the lid top. Um, I might do, um, 13, 14, 15 of these. So it goes to a half sheet on this one. So I fill in two more. And then this would be usable scrap that you can, you know, reuse again for another project, right? Cause it'll be six by 12 and it's a super easy piece to use um, as opposed to some little cutout up here. Um, all right, that's it. Please give me your feedback. Let me know too fast, too slow. 
what do you want me to focus on the next time? Because I will be doing one on the Hello Kitty one. So if you let me know what the feedback is on this one, then on the next video when I do a similar project, I can elaborate and kind of focus on what you needed. Um, and if you have a special project, please post it here as well. If you need to send me a file, it's Ann, A-N, at theuselesscrafter.com. All right, thank you so much. Bye, guys.